Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a updated video on the uh, situation with the uh, Windows 10 May 2019 update. Well, we're actually uh, going ahead of course as everything is going well. There's a few things I wanted to talk about. Uh, first of all is graphics drivers. If you have an Intel or an NVIDIA or AMD graphics adapter, the drivers for these devices have been updated for the mod more modern cards or graphics adapters for May 2019 update. So um, if you are moving to the May 2019 update or if you are there, check out. There's been updated graphics uh, drivers. Some people, especially on the NVIDIA sides, have been uh, saying that they had some problems with, you know, games being sluggish in the um, since they had moved on. Well, it should be fixed because there's a lot of fixes in what they did in the driver also. So probably things are back to normal. We learned today also that, you know, we, they talked about it uh, for a while, that the original Paint app in uh, Windows 10 would eventually be removed. Well, look, it's still here in the May 2019 update. And they are saying that uh, they have no plans to remove it for now. So those of you that loved the original Paint and not the Paint 3D app, uh, well, you guys are uh, going to be happy to know that you've got uh, still got the original Paint there. So this is kind of cool because a lot of people were wondering what's going to happen with this. And it's nice to see that they kept it uh, over here. Apart from that, um, not a lot. You know what? I was looking at the blog posts of... Uh, people that have updated or forced to update their computers and for the most part the upgrades seem to go well so I think it's going to be good news for the release no release date yet but you know we are uh, April the 23rd today and we're a week away from the month of May it means that in a couple of weeks you know two to three weeks from now probably we'll have that update being pushed it seems to go well and I think the uh, one month of testing on release previews making a big difference of course we'll be looking for cumulative updates uh, if you're on an insider build a lot of you are stuck at the May 2019 update without the possibility to update in insider builds there will be a cumulative update that will be pushed to your machine that will enable that upgrade to work so be patient that is something that is also coming so you'll be able to move to the latest build. Hopefully they uh, will have that fixed by this week and a new build for 20H1 will be released at some point. So that's pretty much what we have on the situation. And of course we update this video from time to time with everything that um, you, you know, we learn uh, brand new. And one question I want to answer from a couple of viewers that were wondering, do you have to you know, install the latest cumulative updates to get the May 2019 update. How does it work? Don't worry about it. You don't have to do anything. What happens is when the updates go through, so if you actually click download for the May 2019 update, it will by itself get the cumulative updates that are missing and install them while they're installing May 2019 update. So you got nothing to do. And when you do a feature update, that cumulative update contains all the updates that is required to actually move on to a new feature updates. So you don't have nothing to do. You just, you know, click the download now and when it um, starts installing it, it'll take care of all of what is needed to uh, update to this uh, version 1903. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.